The transformer has 200 turns of wire in its primary coil and 1,500 turns in its secondary coil. If an AC signal of 50 volts is supplied to the primary coil, what is the output voltage of the secondary coil? So to figure this one out, all we need to do is remember that the ratio of the number of turns in each coil is the same as the ratio of the voltages, right? So V1 over V2 equals N1 over N2, yeah? And so in this case, N1 will be 200 and N2 will be 1,500. So if the AC signal of 50 volts is supplied to the primary coil, V1, then V2 is going to be 375 volts. Makes sense, right? You can substitute in the numbers yourself if you don't believe me. Question 8. An ideal transformer converts a 240 volt signal into a 12 volt DC signal. The power used by the slot cars is 60 watts, which of course will be the same as voltage times current. If there are 100 turns in the secondary coil, find the number of turns in the primary coil and the current flowing through the primary coil. All right. So we can see from the options that either we're going to get the number of turns being larger or smaller in the same ratio as the voltages, and the current is going to be larger or smaller in the same ratio as the voltages, right? So what we need to figure out uh, is how the number of turns in the primary coils differs and how the current in the primary coils differs. Now we know the number of turns is going to be the same as the uh, ratio of the voltages, yeah? So if we have a very large signal being transformed into a small signal, that means that there's going to be a large number of turns in the primary coil and a small number of turns in the secondary coil. So our choices are either A or C, right? We also know that if the amount of power in each set of coils is constant, 60 watts, uh, then we should be able to use that to figure out how the current will change because power is voltage times current, right? Now, if we have a high voltage being transformed into a low voltage, but uh, the power, 60 watts, stays the same, that means that the high current, uh, sorry, the low uh, voltage will need a high current and the high voltage will need a low current, right? So the primary coil is high voltage, so it has lots of turns and low current. Our answer then is going to be 2000 turns and 0.25 amps. Question nine. Which transformer would be able to step down an AC voltage from 240 volts to six volts? To answer this question, we just need to look at the ratio of the voltages. 240 to six is the same as 40 to one, or the same as, which one of these? That's right, 480 to 12. So this is the correct answer.